Hi, my name is Grace Huang and I'm a school programs educator here at MoMA. This piece by Jackson Pollock is one of my favorite pieces to teach just because of its sheer size and scale. And it just kind of takes up the whole wall and the whole room. And I love to think about it as um, a thought that kind of takes up the whole space of your mind. It's kind of subversive, the reason why I like teaching from this object, because it really confronts students' ideas about uh, skill in creating art. Sometimes students will say when they look at this painting for the first time that the artist must have been angry or he's depressed. And um, what's interesting is to facilitate that idea of anger. Well, what movements do you make when you're angry? These kind of violent, uh, violent movements, these very strong movements and quick movements. And, um, and to compare that with a very opposite emotion of like excitement. And when you're really excited about something, you're just as um, moving very quickly. It's interesting to think of these, this painting as a collection of lines of energy and you begin to follow as you look at one, maybe some moments that look sort of like electricity and kind of staticky, and then some movements that are kind of are moving very quickly, the very thin movements moving very quickly, and then some of these pools of, of paint, kind of these pauses and these kind of lulls. A lot of times I have students think about, you know, well give me your first word guttural reaction to this piece. And a lot of times they'll say things like crazy, chaos, random. And you know, and sometimes when, you know, after a conversation about things that are controlled chaos or things that are seemingly random and out of control, it's really interesting that towards the end of the conversation, um, you know, it might go more towards thoughts about the universe being controlled chaos or the cosmos. A lot of times um, conversations can get really out there and very philosophical. And I think it's kind of a magic moment when that happens.